I'm gonna start working from the top view the flat sheet metal which is this one here so go to view panel click this drop down arrow and select top I'm gonna start with polyline click anywhere on the screen turn on your polar tracking or maybe ortho mode move your cursor upward for 300 units and to your right for 160 300 units again I'm just gonna track and type C to close line from in point to your right for 150 Move upward for 40 units to your right for 100, downward for 40 units to your right for 150, downward for 300 to your left for, I'm just going to track, to your left for 150, 40 downward and then 100 click that perpendicular point and close now i'm going to join the segments by typing j for join command and just window the whole thing now this is one object this one has the same dimension as this one here so copy in point to in point I'm going to draw this portion here and it's the dimension is 100 by 160 so I'm, I can use polyline from in point upward for 160 to your right for 100 downward and just click that in point and that in point copy this one in point to in point now I'm going to draw this uh, circle here. Uh, I'm going to start with line from this point. So L for line. In point to your right for 110. Copy this one. Draw an arc or a circle. So type C for circle command. Right click to enter. And specify center point of circle shift right click and select mid between two points mid between this in point and this in point and just snap that uh, in point trim so tr for trim command enter twice move this one now draw another line from in point to in point now join the segments by typing J for join command. So J and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to mirror this one. Now I'm going to draw the circles first. And the distance between two circles from center to center is 150. And from the in point here or the midpoint of this arc is 150 so I'm just gonna draw a guide from midpoint to your left for 150 and half of 150 is 75 so 75 up there C for circle click that in point and I think the radius is 20 let me check this one here yeah it's 20 mirror that uh, circle so type MI, MI for mirror command, right click to enter, select the object you want to mirror and specify first point of mirror line. You can start from here or here and go sideways or the opposite way. Click anywhere, select no. Uh, before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. 
um, polar tracking or ortho mode, Ob object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and dynamic UCS. Now I can erase those two lines. Type in I for mirror command and uh, window this one that you want to mirror and specify first point of mirror line you can start from the midpoint here move your cursor downward and select no now i'm gonna draw this circle here which is 50 units from the midpoint so c for circle right click specify center point of circle you can just hover over from the midpoint bring your cursor downward and enter 50 units and then enter 20. copy this one or mirror im i sorry im i for mirror command select the object you want to mirror specify first point of mirror line you can do from the midpoint here or here won't matter as long as along this um, line so from that in point move your cursor sideways and select no all right now i'm gonna bring this object to southwest isometric and extrude and the thickness is 10 as shown here and extrude objects so go to modeling panel, select extrude command, select the objects you want to extrude, enter, and um, bring your cursor downward or upward for 10 units. I'm going to change this to x-ray, easier to visualize. Now I'm going to use subtract command. So inside the solid editing panel, select subtract. Select the object you want to keep, right click, and select the objects you want to remove, which is this one here and this one. Repeat uh, the process. I'm just going to turn off the selection cycling for now. So, uh, subtract command from the ribbon. Select the object you want to keep, right click, select this one to remove. Repeat subtract. Remove the one. Right click to repeat subtract command. Select the object you want to remove, uh, you want to keep, and click the object you want to subtract. Objects. There you go. Now I'm gonna fold this one, these two first for 90 degrees. So inside the modify panel, select um, 3D rotate. Select these two objects, and specify base point. Use this corner here as base point and use this axis. So we're gonna turn it around this um, along the x axis. So click that the green color circle and specify start angle. So which is this along this axis here. So click fold it upward for 90 degrees. So that's gonna be along the z axis. You can see the green dash line just click anywhere here and um, same process on the other side so select uh, 3d rotate click this too and specify base point so click that um, in point there click this axis and specify start angle point. so specify start angle point so it, it's gonna be along the x-axis so just click here and fold this one for or bend this one for 90 degrees and you can see that green dash line click anywhere now i'm gonna fold this uh, two for 90 degrees so 3d rotate again click this uh, object specify base point so i'm gonna choose this one here this corner and uh, this is going to be the rotation axis. So click this green color, click, and specify angle start point. So it's starting from here. And then bring it upward 
for 90 degrees I'll make sure I'm working on parallel all right 3d rotate again we're gonna fold this object so from this point here from in point and along this uh, rotation axis so click that from here downward for 90 degrees there you go now use press pull command and just raise this one here and click that um, in point click let go and click that in point hover over once it turns blue left click let go click that in point same process here left click let go and click that in point where else and enter now uh, I have to fold this one upward let me check yeah this one upward and that one downward all right so 3d rotate click this object specify base point click that uh, in point this is the rotation axis and we're starting from here from this side bring it upward for 90 degrees and the other one we're gonna rotate it for select the object uh, base point this one here and we're gonna use this red color since we're bringing it down from this axis or the y axis and bring it downward and use press pull command pull this one just hover over left click let go and just click that in point uh, same process here hover over left click and click that in point i'm just gonna turn off the grid all right now i'm gonna join the segments or combine so inside the solid editing panel select solid union command and just window the whole thing now i'm gonna apply radius and uh, the inside radius is 10 the outside one is 20 so go to solid select fillet edge go down to the command prompt click radius option and enter 10 so all the inside radius we're gonna click this is the inside this one here by the way a uh, pressure shift key and the wheel of your mouse so you can just easily turn this around while working on your drawing click this one where else is inside select this one enter and enter again to accept now fill it edge again go down to the command prompt click radius option and enter 20 uh, click this one here click this uh, outside radius for the outside bend radius and enter twice Now I'm going to apply materials, minimize this one, maximize this one, and change this to realistic, type materials, and inside the Autodesk library, click this drop down arrow and select, uh, I'm just going to use metallic paint, and uh, use flake uh, reflective beige so i'm just gonna drag this one directly to the object and go to visualize click this up down arrow and drag the exposure setting 
And here you go. I think we're done. So thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified for the next tutorial.